Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video I'm making a new offset tool holder. This one has a triangular insert on the end which really is a bit too big for some of the radiuses I want to cut. So I'll be making a new one holding a smaller insert that can get closer into the radius. So let's go into the workshop see how we do it. This is my radius turning attachment and it fits on the cross slide. You take the compound slide off and the dovetail on the bottom will fit in the cross slide. Now it's this thick to bring the tool up to centre height which is about three inches. And this acts as a slide so you can move the tool in and out and it all pivots on a bearing inside there so the radius that you cut is measured from the center of that bearing to your tool position. Now what I want to do today is make a new offset tool holder so I can use a smaller carbide insert this one so this is what we're making if I take this insert out You see that the center of this is offset by about five millimeters. It has on this one a triangle milled in the end and a small tapped hole to hold the insert in. I'll fit in my four jaw chuck. And what I want to do is get this bar running out five millimeters. So first of all I'll set the the bar true. This is going about 20 thou run out and as you push the dial indicator it goes that way so this is the highest reading there so what I need to do is push this jaw further across see where that run out is so that's about two and a half thou so I'm not worried about two and a half thou because I'm going to offset it anyway. Five millimeter, say that's a hundred and ninety-six thou. So if I start there with the dial indicator parallel to the chuck jaw, zero that. Slacken the one off at the back and move this one across. That's twenty-five thou. Slacken this off a bit. That's 50 thou. That's 100. Okay, so that's zero there. So I've moved it off by one, two, three, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 400 thou roughly. That's 400 on the diameter, but the offset is 200, which is around five millimeters. First thing to do is face off. Turn down about 20 mil. So it's not just zero, it's all on the end.
center drill. And just drill a hole ready for the thread. Now I need to create the pocket for the carbide tip. I've taken a 6mm end mill and I'll go in to a depth of 3mm. I've tapped this hole 2.5 millimeters. I fitted the tool tip just on top of the tool holder and locked it in place so now I can scribe the edges and with a sharp scriber just scribe the outside profile on the end I've put some marking blue on the end so you can see in the lines easier so I've lined the lines up with the tool and then we'll cut from the outside to the center we can then cut the other face parallel to the first face. Then rotate the table and line up the third face. Cut the third face to the centre and then finish the fourth face parallel to the third. I want to cut a depth of about 3mm. Okay, that's one slot halfway in. Now we'll go on to the other side without moving anything. Move to the left until that tool is level with the line I scribed. I'll now rotate the part round and cut the next two faces. There's a shape in the end. And now we'll see if it fits. I've used a 2.5mm tap to produce a thread and that will fit into my radius fixture. All I need to do now is set the tool to centre height. Oh well, that's it for today. Hope that was useful. Hope it was interesting and we'll see you next time on Enots Engineering. <laughs>